Introducing the 3M Command Strip Shower Caddy. It can hold up to 6.5 pounds of bathroom necessities. There's no tools required, no holes, no screws, and especially no nails. Its water resistant adhesive has been tested and proven to have a stronger hold in wet conditions compared to suction cups. It's strong and very versatile. And when it's time to clean or remove, simply slide the caddy off the mounting base. And when you're done, slide it back on worry free. Get your bathtub organized without the hassle. Let's take a look at the 3M Command Strip Shower Caddy. So the first thing we're going to go over in the 3M Command Strip Shower Caddy is the instructions. These are by far the most important things. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put timestamps down below. So if you need to come back or you want to skip forward, those are going to be there right there for you. So let's go ahead and hop into the instructions. Grab all four of your plastic mounting bases. Make sure you take each one and slide it in until you hear each one of them snap. That means you are ready. This side of the command strip is going to mount to the wall. This side is going to mount to the plastic parts on the shower caddy. Next, you're going to remove the blue liner from each command strip. You're going to place one on each of the plastic mounting brackets on the shower caddy. Then you're going to hold them for about 10 to 15 seconds to make sure that they stick to it. This can be a little tricky because these haven't stuck to the backs of them very well. So just when you're peeling them off, you be real careful you're not peeling the whole thing off. And what I typically like to do is I like to grab from the bottom right here and then I'll tear it, pull in the bottom tab, pull it right off. Because if you peel from the top, typically what will happen is this part, the corners will start to come with it and you don't want that to happen. Now we're going to press on here for 10 seconds and also you want to make sure what you do is you figure out the location and the height. Press here, one, two, three, four, or one, one thousand, however you guys prefer to count. We've done that. We're going to lift off the shower caddy and we're going to press onto the clips for at least 30 seconds to make sure that everything gets stuck on the wall and on the clips itself. That'll help make sure that it does not fall. While trying to put the shower caddy back on after we let it set for the 24 hours is that getting it on the clips, I find it to be a little bit difficult and I'm thinking because the shower is actually fiberglass, so it has been to, it's not perfectly straight. So what I had to do is I had to kind of bend the shower caddy out and then push it so the hooks would sit right. And you can see it fell a couple times. Sometimes I thought I had it on, I could put my hand on it and it falls right over. So what you're gonna wanna do is when you get it on, you're gonna wanna make sure you test it with your hands and stuff before you start going and putting products on there, especially depending on how high you put it because it could fall if you're not setting it in there just right. That's one of the things I noticed that was the hardest thing that I struggled on. Once I got it on there, you're good because you're not gonna keep continuously pulling it on and off, but that's definitely one thing you wanna make sure while you're putting it back on. Not all bottles are made the same. So right now what we're gonna do is we're gonna take different size bottles and different shape bottles, put them in the shower caddy and see how they fit and how much we can kind of squeeze in there. And I'm gonna put it here just so we can kind of get an idea of what can actually fit. We'll do some small ones to see if we can get a bunch of small stuff in there and then we'll do a bunch of big stuff and then we'll kind of mix and match. So just in like everyday life, you're not gonna have four or five shampoos or what have you. You're gonna have a variety of different things. So. We will go ahead and start stacking stuff in here and see. So that roughly is about it. Or <laughs> there's some shaving cream that you could fit. So that's one type of scenario. This comparison, I have a bunch of round bottles. They're all around. I'm going to go ahead and put them in here. And one more round one. Not going to fit. Again, shaving cream. It's in there. Kind of pokes out a little bit. There's only so much, obviously, that you can put in there. But I've seen this happen, so this should work. Get about four products in here, five if you're lucky. It all depends on the size of them. So far, testing this out and putting different stuff in here, a lot of weight on it, it's sticking really, really well. I don't know how many different 3M Command Strip shower caddies they make, but some of the Amazon comments said that it there's no hole at the bottom and that it would fill up, the water be all gunky and nasty. But I want to show you that this one does have holes at the bottom, water can pour through. The 3M Command Strip shower caddy has been working out really, really well. My girls are putting stuff on it when they shower, it hasn't fallen off yet. The only thing, like I mentioned earlier, is that when you initially go to put it back on, 
You might have to play around with it to get the hooks just right. But once you do that, you're good to go. And again, no nails, no screws. Like I said earlier with the shower uh, rod and hanger shower caddy that I have in there now. That's the only downfall that I have. And what I do like about this is that it's compact. It can hold about three to five bottles depending on the shape and size, but you can always add more. And again, no hole. But make sure that you are following the instructions. The instructions on the 3 in command strip shower caddy are different than if you are actually doing 3 in command strips themselves. A lot of people have issues with that. So that's why I made a video right here for 3 in command strips, step by step, how to put them on so you can be successful with putting them on and not having stuff fall off your wall. And there's plenty of timestamps for you to hop back and forth. Thank you guys so much for tuning in. If you want to help support the channel, make sure you smash that like button. Also, if you want, purchase an Even Vibes t-shirt. The link will be down there and below. Help support the channel. Thank you guys so much for tuning in as always, and I'll see you on the next one. Peace.